that I'm going to take care of these kids from cradle to career. So early ch child development, because we have 360,000 families on a waiting list to get child development, that's 360,000, mostly women who are unemployed or underemployed. Preschool for all. Most of the, all of the first world and most of the second world has universal preschool. Mandatory kindergarten that's full day and K-12 education that's in the top 10 in per pupil spending. Right now we're 41st in per pupil spending. We're number one in per prisoner though. So we used to be tied with New York at fifth and now New York spends more than twice as much per student. So we've got to reinvest in K-12 education so the kids have smaller class sizes and so they have not only the English and math, but the technology and the science and the history and the art and the music and the athletics. It's all got to be there. Mm -hmm. And then we should make college tuition free again. Well, I support single payer at this point. I really do believe it's the uh, it's a, something we can make work. Canada looks a lot like California in the sense of over 30 million people. It has single payer. They're spending a lot less per pu per person on uh, health care, and their people are much healthier, and they're spending less money individually as well as as a nation. So I think it's a it's a duh when you look at Europe. I mean, have you ever known anybody got sick in Europe or had an accident? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have. And they, they're like blown away by the care they got and then they got no bill hmm. because they have health care for all. But it's really important for a state to have a strong governor because our national leader, I think, is, is defective. And, you know, honestly, I've never in my life had a president that I was actually so disappointed in. I feel like I'm living in a Fellini movie. So I, I want a governor who is going to, yes, fight for the values that are California. And I say budgets are statements of values. If we get organized here, we'll not only be investing in children, their health and their education, but in everybody's health. So we need health care for all. We need to focus again on housing. We used to have affordable housing. My dad was a machinist, my mother was a dress clerk. They bought a house on the peninsula for $16,500 in the 50s. But I bought a house in Alameda County in the middle 70s for $39,990. Oh Adjust for inflation. Still, that's, yeah. you know, so we need somebody who's going to do a full court press to build housing. And, and we ought to be building it around the trans. We have children who are brought here at age one, two, three, four, five. California's their home. California's the only home they've ever known. And they ought to be Californians. And they ought to be protected by California. And they are, um, the genius of this state has been that we have been a state of immigrants. The genius of this nation is that we've been a nation of immigrants. But especially California has a lot of the newest residents. And think about it, who's an immigrant? Entrepreneurial, ambitious, risk-taking, that's the kind of people that dream in great dreams and create great futures for states and for nations. So we want immigrants here. And whether they're coming to us from Mexico or Guatemala or El Salvador, or whether they're coming from, from Taiwan, whether they're coming from, from France, whether, wherever they're coming from, from Somalia, these are wonderful people. Transportation hubs.